This month is a month of missions, and uh, I'm going to start a series on Thursdays on have commanding favor with God. Somebody have favor with God. Commanding favor with God. I thought I would hear it louder than that. You know, I, I'll be doing that series on throughout the Thursdays and on Sundays, I'll be looking at, throughout the Sundays, I will be looking at functioning in the overflow. Praise the Lord. I say praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now quickly, I want us to turn our Bible to the book of Psalm chapter 5 verse 12. Psalm chapter 5 verse 12. Quickly, media. Are you glad you are in church this evening? Yes, sir. Good. For thou will bless the righteous. For thou, Lord, will bless the righteous. With favor will thou compass him as with a shield. Somebody shout favor. favor. Say it louder than that. Favor. That is God said he will bless us with favor. With favor. Now we are looking at on how to command favor. All through this month. All through Thursdays in this month. That is why this evening, I'll be looking at two major keys that helps a man to command favor. You will struggle in life when favor is not working for you. The difference between men in this kingdom is not their background. Your background does not determine how far you will go. It is favor. He said, Paul speaking, he said, I am what I am by the grace of God. Now, grace and favor can be the change. That is how far you will sail in this life is determined by the dimension of favor you operate on. Take out favor in a man's life, the man becomes useless. And favor is never a gift. Hello? In the kingdom of God, favor is not a gift. There are things you do to trigger favor. Listen to this. There are a lot of people in this world that are favorless. And even you as a man, when you walk with them, you begin to experience that disfavor. Because favor can be contagious. Are you getting what I'm saying here? Commanding favor with God and man. That is, you must understand that how far you go in life is determined by the favor of God at work in your life. He said, the race is not to the strong, neither battle. So they strong, they rest to the sweep. But God that gives them chance and time. That talks about favor. When the favor of God is upon your life, your mistake becomes a message. The reason why you will do little things and they will need you for what you are doing, that little stuff is because you lack favor. I make a decree. That throughout this month, as Jehovah God lived, you will swim in favor. Yeah. If you believe it, your amen will be the loudest here now. Yeah. That is how far you go in life is determined by the favor of Jehovah walking in your life. Now listen to this. Men can favor you until God grant you favor. Even when the son of God came here. He had favor with God and man. Jesus, when he came, he had favor with God and man. If Jesus needed favor, who are you to talk about to play that on favor? If you lack favor, you are finished. The reason why you are struggling, the reason is not that you are not intelligent. Hello? It's not that you are not strong. But there is a missing link. And that missing link is the favor link. That favor will come upon you this month. 
I thought you say better amen here. Amen. When a man is operating under the canopy of favor, he will do little thing and have massive resolve. Massive what? Resolve. resolve. When a man is operating under the canopy of favor, when he asks for things, they can't say no. Am I talking to somebody here? A barando susha galamante. Hear this. One of the spirit that was at work in the camp of the children of Israel, when it was time for God to release them, was the spirit of evil. Because God told them, he said, go to the Egyptian and ask them to give to you their gold. They are Jewish. And as they ask, they give to them. <laughs> when God is about to lift a man to another dimension of oppression, one thing God does is that he's to re he will release the favor of him upon that man. That same spirit of favor is coming upon you. Amen. I thought your amen will be stronger than that now. Amen. Somebody shout favor. favor. Shouting like a Christian here. Favor. When the spirit of favor of God rests upon a young girl, you won't struggle to settle down. When favor rests upon a man, you won't struggle to buy a land. He said they got not the land by their power, but favor gave it to them. What gave it to them? Favor, favor gave it to them. Favor gave it to them. I'm not talking, see? You can bear favor as a name and not experience favor. Favor is a spirit. Is what? Spirit. Favor makes people to like you. Eh? You are likable. A man that has favor can't be dull, can't be stupid. When the favor of God is upon the man, the man know what to do part time. Somebody shall favor. Now, how do I provoke this favor? Because the reason why some of us are struggling is because the favor of God on, in our life, on our life, is not strong enough. You see a young man of 40 years, his result is like a boy of 15 years. You don't prosper by age, you prosper by favor. You prosper by favor. See, when favor is working in your life, you see, it's not that you own labor, but your labor will always commensurate to testimony. Huh? Yeah, there are people laboring like elephant but eating like ant there are people struggling if it shows on their face because they are struggling everything about them you, you have to work hard they will tell you life is hard you have to work hard man must hustle hmm. that also is not in scripture read from genesis to revelation there's nowhere he said and they also in that land no by the authority in the name of your some of you the touch we pay before this year is over we get you afraid you didn't hear what I'm talking about here do you know how favor works is it the stone that the builder rejected has become the chief cornerstone and that become the chief cornerstone by favor upon him upon him when the favor of God bellowed on a man that man becomes the toast of his community. You will see calls. Just one call will set you for life. One call. You know when favor rests upon you, people will see you as a project to them. Until you get this contract and will rest. That is a man working on favor. Igaro shangla kito zagamane. Igaro lo suapatane. David was operating on favor. You see, you don't need to be there for them to give you the contract. The only thing you need is just to be alive. Wherever you are, if God truly sent me, this very moment, lift up your two hands to heaven. As Jehovah God liveth, if I be a man of God, before this week is this week we are entering is over, before this month is over, your name shall be Elias Favor. If you believe it, your amen will be louder than that now. Somebody shall favor. favor. This one you are begging. 
In this kingdom, we are not meant to beg, we are meant to take. Huh? We are meant to take. Take the highest. Not take small. See, wherever your feet tread upon, you possess. That is, after this week, you should go to that car park, draw where your car will park. I possess this car space. Write the name there. Spiritual things are practice. When I say we should make confession, because I have a deep revelation about confession. It is what you say that you will take. You say you take. Am I talking to somebody here? How many of you want to experience favor this month? One favor, one day of favor will cancel 20 years of labor. Huh? It, was, it wasn't one day of favor that the children of Israel experienced. It was one night of favor. One what? Night of favor. You can't, you can't have the spirit of favor on you and you be in bondage. No. No. Your time has finally come. Amen. I said your time has finally come. Amen. How do I experience favor quickly? One, you must consciously pray for that spirit. Prayers. Magaroda kelo babalilo silabada. Lord, baptize me with the spirit of favor. You consciously pray for it. Every spirit of hardship in my life, I arrest you now, now, not tomorrow. When? Now. You see, you see, favor. You see, prayers give birth to favor. Do you know how prayer gives birth to favor? When you are prayerful, you become godful. And when you are godful, you attract favor. Hello. That is, don't joke with prayers this month. Don't joke with prayers. Not just prayer in church, in your closets. And it's not all kind of prayer that generates favor. Kingdom-minded prayers. The prayer that involves church and involves God's people. Do you know how it works? Anything you pray for someone, God makes happen for you. Am I talking to somebody here? That is the operations of God. God has his operation. When you operate in the frequency of God, you get God's blessings. In this kingdom that we belong, it is what you measure to someone that will be measured back to you. Am I talking to someone here? That is, you are involved in kingdom prayers. Let no day pass without you praying for the kingdom. And which is the kingdom? Your church. Christians. Your man of God. With that, you just be sailing on the wings of favor. On the wings of favor. Matthew 6, 33. Begin to find practical expression in your life. You see, men that praise for the kingdom are men that experience the kingdom's favor. That is, you, you generate favor from the altar prayers. You pray for the kingdom, you pray for yourself. Do you know why? See, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. There are spirit that makes people to dislike you. Hello? <laughs> Have you not seen people that promise you without fulfilling it? It's not ordinary. There's a spirit behind it. See, there is a way favor rests on you. When you talk to someone, the person just, you see, you just, you understand what I'm talking about here. It's, you can command it at the altar of prayers. Altar prayers. Especially midnight prayers. Let me show you a secret that God showed me. Yesterday, yesterday, around 3 p.m. I was shocked when I was there. He said, us, he said, early morning, when they breaks, people are excited. Am I right? Huh? People are dressing up to go to work. He said at night, when day is getting dark, 
witches are getting excited because they are dressing up to go to their work. Do you understand what I'm talking about? When I heard that light, I said, God of heaven. He said, do you know the way you dress up on Sunday morning? You are looking at the mirror. Ha, this thing. He said, when the day is getting dark, he said, those witches that knows that they are witches, they are getting excited. They are getting excited. They are getting excited. And I showed me another thing. He said, good people like good things. Bad people like bad things. He said, there is nothing you do for a witch that can make him change his mind. But the only way to cause them to change their mind is to be violent in prayers. So much are prayers. prayers. You don't joke with it. You don't joke with prayers. Ba kito saga. Meruda kito. Bilake. Mazuzu. Brakte sokote liga baranene. You are, you are, you are right. In prayers. Consistently. That is the number one key you use in generating favor is at the altar of prayers. Let's take some scriptures. First John chapter 5. First John chapter 5. From verse 14 to 15. First John chapter 5. From verse 14 to 15. Let's read. And this is the confidence that we have in him. Somebody say him. That if we ask anything according to what? He heareth us. And favor inclusive. See, you check your life. You know, there are people that make statements like, I'm a hard worker. Every of my property, I work for them. I work for my money. I work for my money. How many of you have heard statements like that? That statement is not godly. That statement is not what? Can I tell you the reason why God asks us to work? The primary reasons why God asks us to work is not to get things. It's to give things. But if you want to get things, it's a freely have you be given. Freely. Freely you receive, freely you give. In this kingdom, we don't work for things for ourselves. We receive things for ourselves. He said, let him still still no more. But let him labor that he may have to give. That is the reason why we work is so that we can give. But if you think, oh, the reason I'm laboring is for, no, 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 no. God can give you anything 24 hours. That is that statement where people say things like, I work for my money. It's not a scriptural statement. And also it's a proof that the favor of God on your life is small. If you have at all. As a child of God, there are things you should count that this one I didn't buy it with my money. I got it on the ground of favor. That same grace is coming on you. Amen. You understand what I'm talking about here? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's how it works. That is what makes this life sweet. You <laughs> see, this month, people will practically walk up to you and give you landed properties. Amen. See, listen, you know, the Lord said, begin to declare lands, begin to declare cars. Sometimes I go outside these cars that are there, I don't like it. We should have at least 50 cars, 100 cars, and we are getting there. Yeah. And how are we going to get there? Go there and draw your own line if your own is not there. And if the old place they've taken, you go and draw at the back here. Yeah? That's car park for us. Buy it over. Think we came here by mistake? We came here because there are lands here. And we are buying lands this season. You consciously invoke it upon your life. Is that making sense to somebody here? That's how this thing works. Oh. Consciously invoke it. Consciously. Consciously. Let's read more, some scripture more. Jeremiah 29 12. Jeremiah 29 12. Quickly. Good. Want to go? Then shall ye call upon me and ye shall go and pray unto me and I will hearken did he say we store your prayers he said you will go even God says you should go and pray hello can I teach you something before you place any demand on any mortal man first talk to God 
He said, Then shall ye call upon me, and ye shall go. But you, you are not going, you are sitting down. And you shall go. And you shall come to this house and pray. And I will hearken. He said it will hearken. The word hearken means to give attention. To give what? Attention. I will give attention. Every prayer you pray this month, my God will answer. Amen. I don't like the way you are saying amen at all. Amen. I say every prayer you pray this month, the God that sent me will answer speedily. Amen. 